In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use Grid Builder WP, and that's in conjunction with Brizzy. So I'm here in my website with a kind of a default Brizzy layout. And just to quickly show you how it works, then click on the on sale, and immediately then the seven items on sale are listed. If we look at the search, which is on instant search, if I type in hood as I type, the filter applies. So there we have the hoodies. Um, the price, you'll notice that the price changes depending on the products that we're looking at. So I'll just filter out the cheaper products so you can see quickly how easily it is then. Um, it's very quick. The other thing that we can look at is the categories. And the way that I've set it up is that you can select more than one category at a time. So the nice thing is if you wanted to see music and decor, you can view them both at the same time. You'll also notice that the um, the color range here and the sizes are grayed out and not selectable. And what you'll also notice is that this on sale button is only available to you if there is an item on sale. So if I remove music, for example, then there are no on sale items. Right, we'll just uh, deselect, takes us back to the uh, default view. And then here we have the color. So simply selecting a color. And once again, I've set, well, this is set up to only select one color at a time. And you'll also notice that as I change the colors, that the options here in terms of categories are also updated at the same time. So it's very interactive and dynamic. And here on the blue, you'll see we have t-shirts, hoodies, and um, the sizes available. So I think those sizes are only available in t-shirts. So if I go to t-shirts and if I had Yes, and I'm just looking at the t-shirts and I still have access. If I went to hoodies, then I don't have the access to the size. So that's pretty much then how the um, filter works. Uh, there's a reset button here to reset all your queries. And then at the bottom here, we have the load more button. And we click on load more. And the next batch of posts are loaded. So that's pretty much how it works. And... Um, yeah, to set up a facet is relatively simple. So let's have a look at setting up something for, uh, we'll go over here to the facets and let's create a facet. And I haven't tried a sort facet yet. So what I'll do then is just say sort um, behavior. So we have a look at our options. There's a sort option. So let's say we're going to sort the price. Um, order by and here we have the option of what we're going to order by so let's have a look if we can have a look at a um, field and I don't see product price so what I'll do then is just go custom field and enter a field name so I'll just put in price and see what comes back Right, so there we have WooCommerce price. So we have the price and it's going to be, I think I'll make it ascending. Um, yeah, let's have a look and see how that works. Uh, we can also look at a combo box. Maybe what I'll do is add another option then. So let's say um, this is price ascending. Let's go price descending um, we're going to go for a custom field again and we're going to enter price woocommerce price and right let's save those changes okay so i'm not sure how this is going to play out but it should be fine we'll head over to facets here we'll just get the facet number so we know that that is um, facet number nine I'm going to head over here to um, Brizzy and I'm just going to select the first one. I'm going to copy that. And then what I'm going to do is move it across to the top here on the right hand side. And then I'm going to change the number to number nine. We'll update and then head over to the website. And now we'll be able to have a look at that sort option. So website just loading here. Right, so there we have price ascending and let's see price descending. Right, so the price is now descending and then we have price ascending. 
and then we start from the lowest and load more um, and the ascending carries on through the load more all the way to the highest price so yeah that's how easy it was to set up um, ascending and descending prices uh, you could do the same with titles you could do the same with um, you know all kinds of things so that was just a brief introduction to show you how you can use the grid builder wp then with your brizzy installation uh, maybe just to show you the template that i've used here for my um, um, layout so what i did is i went over here to my brizzy install and in brizzy then i created a template so templates and then in the templates i have set up a template for products and if i scroll down here you'll see that um, the template type i said was product archive and i've included the search page the shop page the product categories and the product tag so i've included all of those and then what i did is i just click on edit with brizzy brings this up uh, uh, brings up this page and um, i was then able to create the layout just one last thing to mention when it comes to the setting up of the grid builder to work with brizzy um, there is one setting that you need to be made aware of so let's have a look at that so if i go here back to the grid builder and we go to the settings within grid builder and let's just get that to load right so we head over here to the settings and the setting that we need to activate is this custom filter custom content and you'll see there when you filter custom custom content um, it's important then to include this attribute in your grid shortcode so i'm going to show you what that looks like so here in my um, products page if i go to the shortcode you will see that we have the facet we have the id equal to six and then the grid we reference the wpgb dash content and then what happens is grid builder because we're in, in an archive page will then try to identify the archive or the post loop and will then filter the content which it is successfully doing in this case may not work in all instances but it does work in this case um yeah so if we then just one last thing if we're looking here at the facets um, you'll see here that these are the facets and it's just a case then of copying and replacing that zero with the wpgv-container setting and that's it and then everything works and we have um, a filter here at the top which looks at the sort we have down the left hand side and we also have the bottom so if we go into a category so i'm going to go into decor and you'll see then with decor we only have the options available to us in decor let's go to music where we have two products and here again only what's available to us here and of course the filters work as they should um, and in this case we have let's make that price ascending so lowest to highest and then price descending highest to lowest so that's working and then we have the clothing category which then has children categories and you'll see that they are pulled through here successfully and then you can filter accordingly so this is while i'm looking in a shop category page and then this is where everything is included when i'm looking at it in the main shop archive so if i for example here select a decor you will see that um, I only have the 11 available. I've set this to select multiple categories, but I don't have access to anything else. And it's pretty much the same layout that we'd have if I was in the decor category itself, except we don't see the grayed out items. We only see what's relevant to the page that we're on. So that's working. Um, the add to cart. So if we were doing the add to cart, you'll see that that's working. You only need $45 more to get free shipping so let's see only right and a little bit more let's add this one yeah you get free shipping so yeah everything is working as it should if we have a look at the cart
and everything will be working in the cart so we can just remove the item uh, remove the item remove the item back to the shop yeah so everything is working as it should and um, when we're working with grid builder wp and the default woocommerce post loop well i hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for watching